All right, so we don't have our trailer, so Sarah's kind of crammed in here. We got stuff all in the back. We got it way up there. Just don't want to tip over. We got another Amazon returns pal today. We paid $600 for this one and it's gonna be an awesome one, we can tell already. If you're new around here, an Amazon return pallet is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's an entire pallet of returned merchandise to Amazon. Amazon doesn't wanna deal with their returns. It's too much of a logistical nightmare for them. So instead they sell them to liquidators and resellers, I guess. A lot of people think that it's just junk on these things, but we're gonna to prove to you today that it's not. So let's get started. Let's go. One of the reasons I like this pallet was this thing. We looked it up, uh, we saw it on the outside. It's a 3D printer. So let's see if that's what's inside, first all of all. All right. Oh. Whoa. That looks pretty good so far. It's kind of neatly packaged in there. Ooh, still in plastic. I like that. Still in plastic. Show them what we all got right. here. I'll show you. Uh, we're gonna look this one up and see what the retail value is, just to show you guys what we're dealing with here. So how we figure out the retail value of something like this is usually there's a barcode on the actual box that you can scan. Amazon. It'll pull right up on Amazon exactly what it is. Um, if for some reason that doesn't work or that's not there, we can actually just look up the item number and the model number and figure it out. So let's find out which 3D printer this one is. Apparently 3D printers are cheaper than I expected. This one is 129, um, but that's still not bad considering this is a brand new product. Uh, we usually estimate that we can sell products for 40 to 50 percent of retail value so um, we are going to put an msrp counter up on the screen so you can see uh, what our total msrp is for this pallet so to break even we need at least a 1200 dollars msrp so got 130 bucks right here so there you go let's keep going this one uh this one is going to be for me i've always wanted one of these <laughs> pool blaster this is a pool vacuum that's exactly what it is. Let's yep. open it up and see. Yeah, its I'm gonna condition. take it out and charge it because I really do want this for myself. So we kind of bought this pallet for this item. I saw it on there and I was like, you know what? I need one of those. Okay. It looks used. Definitely used. Yep. So might be broken. Ooh, might. Yep. Yeah. We'll have to. Try Even better it out. reason to test it out because if Ooh. it works, that's fine. It's I can do like a used one. Super used. Well, that's the filter. I know, but, but you can tell it's been used. Yeah. So not really a big deal if we keep it ourselves, but for resale value, that would have totally kind of taken a huge cut on what yeah. I would be able to get for this. Before we get any further into the video, we wanted to take a minute to talk about today's video sponsor, Pippi Shell. So we recently have been on the search for a good TV mount, and we came across the Pippi Shell PIXF2, which is an absolute beast of a TV mount. This thing holds up to 132 pounds of weight and fits pretty much any TV between 50 and 90 inches. This TV mount is perfect for our living room because our living room is a little bit of a weird shape and our TV has to be off-centered. The PIX F2 swivels 60 degrees left or right and tilts up 5 degrees and down 15 degrees. But what's cool about this TV mount is that not only can it move so much, but it also compacts really nice. When you're done using your TV, you can kind of push it right back up into the wall and it's all hidden really nice. It's very thin, low profile when it's all collapsed. And it pulls out nice and far from the wall if you want your TV a little closer to you as you watch. And Sarah needs a little bit of help with that area. Her eyes aren't, aren't, aren't the best, so that's a really nice feature. <laughs> and our house is open concept, so I can even swivel the TV all the way to the kitchen if I want to watch something while I'm cooking, and swivel it all the way the other way towards the couch when we want to watch a movie. So again, we highly recommend the Pippi Shell PIXF2. It's wonderful for us, and if you click the link below, you're going to get an exclusive discount. So check that out, uh, and let's get back into the video. Uh, we're gonna get some of the less exciting ones out of the way here. Baby bed rail looks unopened. Box just popped open, but in plastic still. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Here, you got that side? Yeah. Oh wait, it says right here. Roof rack for canoe for okay. your car. Looks like brand new in plastic still. We'll have to investigate that a little more, but. Yeah, new canoe rack for your there car. There you go. There you go. Pretty random, but still sells. This is a good one. I think if that's what this is, heavy too. A folding wagon. These are so awesome. They're great for kids. They're good for gardening. This is a good one. Looks pretty new. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So cool. there's no like wear marks on the tires or anything. So that that's looks a new. cool one. Perfect. 
Yeah, we'll look that one up too to see what it retails for. We'll be able to move this one probably pretty quickly on Facebook Marketplace. Yes. Um, yeah, locally that'll do really well. 107. 107. There you go. Sweet. We scan this guy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say what it is, but there is a barcode. I'm gonna open it too. This one has a lot of tape on it, which means it's probably been returned. <laughs> There's always lots of random car parts, but I think that's pretty good for eBay because that's where people go to look for this stuff. It's a front bumper chin spoiler. Chin spoiler, whatever that is, I'm sure someone will buy it. What is the retail for? 65. All right, I'm curious about this one. We have Aww. two girls, and so I know Melissa and Doug's stuff is pretty pricey. So it's like cute wooden toys. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Ah, oh. I don't think that's Melissa what? and Doug. Ah, oh, we got ripped. Bummer. What do we got some sort of a some scam return, maybe. Yeah, inflatable pool, which we could fill up and see if there's holes in, but a used inflatable Ugh. pool. Bummer. Yeah. So sometimes people will return things in other packages. Right. On purpose or on accident, we don't know, but um, that's no good. That's a bummer. Yeah, that one's kind of probably a bust. All right, so we find a lot of air purifiers on pallets and they sell pretty well for me. I've yeah. never seen this brand or this one before, so I'm gonna look up to see what this one's worth. Yeah, air purifiers are probably one of our best sellers actually, so. Yep. Ooh, okay. 150. Okay. I didn't expect that for yeah. how, light, how light the package is, so. Oh. It's still in plastic, so maybe just considered like an open box item, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So on eBay, you can select open box so that people know that they might be getting something like this that isn't completely in brand new packaging, but is still new. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Yeah, we might have to test that one to make sure it works, but. Yeah, overall. we'll do a lot of quality control around here. You want to plug everything in, make sure it works. We do also offer returns on everything on eBay, um, just in case we miss anything, but. Also, our eBay store will link below if you want to check out some of the stuff we have for sale. Oh, this one's heavy. Sometimes people like some of the packages we open, so. Yeah. Ooh, okay, it's okay. heavy. Oh, maybe a tool. What do we got? Ooh. Oh. Oh. What it's is... a tool. It's just not a tool that I, we know what it is here. It's just not an exciting show tool. show you here. Can some you kind of that? specialty tool, which specialty tools are typically the most expensive it ones, looks so. looks kind of used. Or greasy. Maybe greasy. it just all fell out of the. Let's, let's scan, scan it, it here. See. 282. Well, what is it? Oh, well, that's what it's worth. 282. That's all we care about. What it's worth. <laughs> it's a dual clutch transmission remover installer toolkit. Wow. For Ford cards. $282. There you go. See? Sweet. That's Never a know. Good one. Never. All right, we're going to go mystery box here. I love the mystery boxes. Sarah, not so much. Very our strategy, nice. if you're new to our videos, our strategy is to pick pallets that have one or two valuable items on the outside that'll pay for the entire pallet. That you can see before you buy it. Yeah, do you remember what they were for this one? So, this one. Oh. oh boy. Okay, we got some kind of light fixture here. What the? Looks very uh, Spanish country. Spanish country? Is that a style? English country? Uh, no. French country. French country. Looks used, or at least it was hooked oh, up. Oh, it's broken. It What's is. this? Well, it might not be broken. Uh, sometimes okay. it's worth investigating. But you see the Ziploc bag? That means someone definitely probably installed it, maybe decided didn't like it. So who knows if all the parts are here? Yep. Uh, I've had, I have not had good luck with light fixtures on eBay. So we'll see. That might be better for Facebook Marketplace locally to sell just really cheap to get rid of it. Somebody might really like it. Here we go. Ooh, what do we got? Ice maker, it All says. Right. A little banged up. Oh, no. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. They didn't <laughs> ship it back very good. They didn't put padding in it, so it looks like there's a couple scratches on top. Yeah. Um, but inside is doesn't look like there's ever been ice made in it. Let's look so, up the model number. This is a tiny yeah. guy. Yeah, no padding on the return packaging. That kind so of So there's like some scuffs. I don't know if you can see them, but inside has been unused so wish they would have put padding when they returned it you know yes most of it's coming off there's just like a small scuff on it 
107. 107, okay. Cute little cubes, bullet ice cubes. I feel like some people are very specific on what types of ice cubes they mm -hmm. like. So if you want a bullet ice cube maker. All right, so I'm gonna grab one of those items we told you about that we saw from the outside. We knew it was a higher priced item that would help pay for the pallet. That was this paddle board. Yeah. So. Sweet. Paddle boards can range in price. This is an inflatable one. We have these actually in like something like this and they're awesome. They're so much fun. Yeah, the inflatables are good for travel. They're really portable. Um, we got an electric pump for ours though because we got sick of <laughs> pumping them up, so. But they really do work and like feel like a real paddle board. This barcode is like half ripped off, so it's not gonna work. Yep, yep. so we're gonna have to maybe open it and see if there's any documentation or anything like that. Cool. Looks like Looks... maybe it was blown up once. Or open but not inflated. I don't know. It looks pretty. Yeah, well, looks good. It came it comes with a a pump and a paddle. So yeah, somehow they nice. fit a paddle in that box. So everything's there. Yep. Um, so we just have to find the exact one that it is. Yeah, we might have to just uh, look up the brand and see if we can find the color. There is some research that goes into some of these. So yeah, this one's a little risky to me because it's like possibly it's been blown up before and what if there's a hole in it and I sell mm. it on eBay and then someone else opens this and there's a hole in it once they pump it up and then that's my fault they'd have to return it and I'd have to pay for shipping and that kind of thing so we might want to blow this one up Test first it. sure so there does there is quite a bit of work that goes into the behind the scenes stuff all right so this brand looks like it ranges from 2 to 250 looks like a used one of this exact one sold for 150 so that's probably what we can expect to get ours for ours yeah. but Cool. Um, $150 bill right there. That's All pretty right. good. So that'll pay for what? A quarter of our pallet. One item. Yeah. Sweet. All right. This one? Sure. It says fragile. Acrylic LED pendant light. Let's see if it's cool. We are remodeling our house right now, so you never know. Like, whoa, it's like a wave. Oh, like a modern like LED. Like a real here. modern. Whoa. It looks very uh, modern, though. Very like clubby clubbish yeah <laughs> very nice okay cool. oh oh hmm hmm. this looks like a cat scratch tower it's kind of cute colors though kind of retro at least it's not like uh, just the gray carpet it looks like it's a little hairy Ooh. might, might have been used by a cat and then the cat didn't like it or something we got a sort of heavy unmarked package here there you go uh and it has plastic straps on it still which is good so that means it's been unopened We've been getting some some guns recently, and I have a feeling this is a gun. Like BB guns. Well, air, yeah, like pellet guns, stuff Not like that. Really guns. Oh. What is that? It's not a BB it's gun. It's not a BB gun. What is it? Oh, here we go. Universal roof rack system. All right. Another roof rack, so. There we go. Are you bummed? Yeah, I was hoping it would be a gun. <laughs> Our last gun we found was a very fancy pellet gun. Retails for like four fifty. Mm -hmm. We sold it for what? Two hundred? Two? No, we sold. No, like. We sold it for like three twenty-five or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you got? Whoa! Look at that funkiness. Fancy! Wow. <gasps> One fifty. One hundred fifty dollar end table right here. Yep. Sweet. We're going to open that guy later, make sure everything is there. That would probably be a good one for Facebook Marketplace. I'll probably put that together, style it in our home, mm -hmm. and sell it on Marketplace. Yeah, when you style stuff, you can usually get top dollar when it yeah. comes to furniture anyways. Yeah, home yep. decor, stuff like that. Yep. If you guys watch our pallet videos, we already know this is air filters. Oh yeah, it says right there. Air filters. Get them on every pallet. But they do sell. People buy them. Yep. We got a whole bundle of them. We never seem to get our size air filters. Mystery box. Abraham. Cargo Pro, it says. So this might be another roof rack type system. What is it? Let's see what the bag says. Mount Dog. I'm guessing it's another roof rack of some kind. Mount uh, Dog. Oh no, Mount Dog is a lighting kit, like softbox photo oh. stuff. Well, there you go, I was wrong. Softbox. Oh yeah, I oh, yeah. photography softbox. So. There you go. We know that stuff sells because we used to buy a lot of it. Yes, we did. Fun fact, we used to own our own wedding photography business for eight years. Ten, actually. Ten years. 
So that's what we did. That's what we did. Yeah. Before we did all this other before weird stuff. Before we did this. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we get that? All right, big one. Oh, this one saw, I saw this one when we were unloading. Wine Savant, big airplane. Big airplane. Big airplane, whatever what? that is. All right. What do we got? Oh, oh this might be fra very fragile because it's all this foam. Oh, what, what's oh, with it? Oh, Whoa. What? <laughs> okay, this is crazy. Oh, this oh, it's is, broken. Oh, sad. It's an airplane got like a fancy oh my goodness what is this, is this? Some crazy stuff here Careful. guys okay what i kind of want to put this together and see what we got going on here that's crazy <laughs> it's an airplane the pilots in your life wow the pilots and the winos this is <laughs> that is the weird very fragile product. nothing is broken but a very strange product that's pretty cool well this wing is a little broken okay we'll have to investigate it more yeah it was so random very random i did not expect that no one me either yeah all right we gotta do the big package over here guys what is it it's a big package the biggest box in the whole palette okay mm. let's get towards them another box another box Box in a box. Oh, that's another inflatable paddleboard. Really? Yes. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, we'll definitely have to blow those up and see. Oh yeah, see? Oh, okay. Let's see another inflatable paddleboard here. That's the bottom of it. You got your fins. Cool. But those, it could be uh, anywhere from $150 to $200 items, so. Sweet. Pretty good. If it blows up. Yes. Hey, what do you guys think? What's our best item so far? What do you think? Mm, most expensive, you mean? Or best. Or best. Favorite? Uh, the 3D printer, I think. Well, the 3D printer is pretty, pretty cool. cool. Start a little Etsy shop with that. <laughs> what are you going to print? Print little, uh, little figurines. Well, we bought cookie cutters from a lady. Yes, we did. 3D printed yeah, tile so. cutters. What do we got? Okay. Another, uh, well, I shouldn't say another. We got this in a different palette, something similar. A raised dog food and water thing for tall or large dogs. But so. people don't like the ugly bowls on the ground. They want it, and then it doesn't hurt their dog's neck or back to like right. bend down to get it. Right, they're handy. And it looks pretty. Yes. We have a very short little corgi, so not necessary for us. Oh, this is a good one, or maybe a potential good one. I can see from the side here, looks like a computer. I don't think that's what it actually is. I oh, thought, yeah. Because it's too light to be a computer. Lots of maybe Japanese writing on well, it. Let's see what we got. All right, here I'm we go. I'm very curious about this one. Here, I'm going to scan it, Ooh. actually. It looks like a computer, guys. Hold like on. a desktop computer. Case, it says. Oh, case. Oh, yeah. Okay, it says. $160 mid-tower case white gaming. So, like, if you build your own computer? Oh, yeah. So, it's yeah, if you build your own computer, it's a tower for that. So. Cool. Brand new. Tempered glass. So that'll definitely sell. Oh, like the glass side ones? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you there can like is. see inside your, to see all your parts and all like your hard work. The LED lights in there. Love it. Sweet. We got some good, we got some goodies. A lot of like 100 to $150 items, kind of meat and potatoes type yeah, palette Yeah, those stuff. add up quick too. Yes. So. What is this? I don't know. Box. Any ideas? A light up stair riser, like for displays, like, like your jewelry or makeup or Viver look. Ah, like a for like interesting. If you have a store and you want to like light up your products, okay. Let's see, there's like oh yeah, LED light back lights. Here. There you go. Yep. Three. This feels like a blanket maybe or something. Big blanket. Oh, I like don't a comforter. Know. Yeah, comforter. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. Kay. All right. What do you got? I don't know. It is a comforter. Seven piece. Kids, trains, and trucks. <laughs> so, so it's like a kids' bed set. Kids' bed set. Okay. But it's out of package. Looks new, but so that might be a good Facebook marketplace. <clears throat> I want to investigate, make sure it's it's new though. Yeah, make sure it's. Or we could always donate that. 
So, for resellers, if you don't want to spend all your time looking for inventory, pallets are a great way to get your inventory. Granted, you have a lot more trash and, and waste this, this way, uh, but you still get discounted items and you don't have to spend a lot of gas and time searching for things. That's that's kind of the advantage of this, this type of thing, so. Wow. That's not good. Bummer, what is it? Those are all the, okay, this is some kind of a metal rack. All the pieces were there until I <laughs> broke them, but it's like, it says premium air something. Probably a bounce house of sorts. Yep, you wanna scan it? Yeah. Whoa, okay. It's an inflatable air gymnastics mat. Wow. $150. Sweet. So we have a lot of these inflatable things, but if we wanna sell any of this on eBay, I think we're gonna have to blow them up. Yeah. You wanna make sure that there's not holes in them or rips. Or mold, yeah, there's, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, people put them in their yard and then they don't clean them up before they return them, so. But it could have just been, you know, a damaged package that or something. So. Sorry. Another reason why we chose this pallet, we saw this on the outside. It's a pool pump. And since having a pool, we have come to realize how expensive a lot of the components are. So yeah. uh, we knew this would be a valuable item. Looks, my guess is like home decor. What do you think? A mirror I think sorts? it's carpet pads carpet. or carpet squares. <laughs> oh, we're both wrong. Oh. <laughs> you know what I think it is? Only because we've gotten this on other pallets. Is it for like your window? Oh yeah, like in a car? that's totally what it is. Yep, we got one of these on another pallet, but it's like the inner workings of a power window for a car. If you want to fix it yourself. Again though, car stuff, we were surprised to sell. Even very specific car stuff you can yeah. sell on eBay really well. Okay, yep, it's a litter box. 60 bucks. Cute All little right. guy. That's a, must be a, a fancier litter box, $60. I guess so, yeah. There you go. This one I almost got open on my own. Okay. It's still new in plastic here. Hey. Wave relaxation. Oh, hey. What some is scuba it? gear. Big Whoa. old fin scuba fins, like giant ones. <gasps> Those are the biggest scuba fins I've ever seen. That's for if you're going down like, oh, spear fishing. What? Or free diving. So if you're going down. Real deep. Real deep. Cool. Brand new, sweet. Mm. Big, heavy. No furniture. Oh yeah, we got a couple of some furniture. Maybe armchair. Lazy boy. Cup, cup holder there. It it's, looks like a full chair to me. You think so? Oh yeah. It's a chair. We'll do more research and look this one up, but. Cool. Not great for shipping or eBay, so it'll probably have to be locally that we sell it. Because it's big, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, because we'll probably want to put it together. Unless it's like a $600 chair or something. Yeah, I doubt it though. It doesn't feel super expensive, but yep. we'll look that guy up. Cool. And big. There oh, it's go. another one of those wagons, I think. Oh, really? oh, yeah. I think. Make sure that's what's in there, but still in packaging, still brand new. Hey, oh. 270 Yeah, we'll show you on the screen. 269 bucks. Sweet. Sweet, that's another big ticket item there. This Brand is the uh, one for kids that has like the shade thing on top. Oh, fancy. That's a nice one. I'm guessing this is another car part. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> there must be some kind of organization system that they do with these pallets. I don't know. Yeah. Because we often get like multiples of similar types of items. So I'm curious, people watching, if you watch this just because you're curious what we get on pallets or if you watch because you want to try a pallet yourself, let us know below. I'm very curious yes. how many people actually are willing yeah. to try this. Oh, we should mention we get our pallets through Grand Rapids Pallet Liquidation, our favorite place to go. Mitch, he's awesome. He kind of educates you, tells you what to look for and, and the whole, he walks you through the whole process. So he's a nice guy. Car, if you're in the area, check it out. Car clothes hanger. This one seems like another comforter here. Okay. Just be careful with it. Oh, it's like a bean bag. It's a poof. Poof bean bag. There you go. Nice. Kind of like a corduroy material. Yeah. Oh, what do we have? This is a light slash fan. I think. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, maybe not. Definitely have to call this one open box because it's not like. Yeah. We'll have to make sure all the pieces are there. Yep. But. A little extra work. So a lot of these items might seem really random and weird, but all this stuff sells. So definitely if you are thinking about getting into this, just because it's a weird item does not mean that it's not sellable. Yeah, it might not be something that you buy, but someone else is, is just looking for. So yep. especially 
at a discounted rate with inflation and everything that's going on, if someone can get a good deal on a quality product, yeah. they'll buy it. So a good way to find out what things are selling for is to go to eBay, look up your item, and then filter by sold by. Um, and then you'll see what people actually paid for that specific item and how often they're buying them. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll give you a good idea of what demand is out there for those products. So this one's interesting because the legs are so wrapped in plastic. But the top of this looks like it has been scratched or been out in the rain, something like that. It's interesting. Yeah, so this is just like a metal side table for like your patio. Mm -hmm. uh, so that might be a good one locally. Probably won't get much for it, yep. um, but it all adds up. Sometimes we get discouraged with pallets like when we're opening stuff, but then when you look back and you look up all the retail values, it really does add up. So yes, for sure. Can't get discouraged by a couple broken items. But we always say this, if you're looking for pallets, don't buy them online. Yeah. You will get scammed most likely. Um, look for a local place. Uh, that's the best way to do it. We get a lot of questions about how to find a local pallet place in your area and how we find them is just by going to Facebook and actually searching up in the search bar uh, pallet liquidation and you should be able to find some groups nearby. You might have to drive a couple hours to it, but there should be some in your state of people yeah. doing this. Some people drive like three hours to the one we go to, Grand Rapids Pallet Liquidation. Yeah, they'll bring um, like a U-Haul and buy a bunch of them at once, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we got? Mounting light, light mounting. Sarah's gonna scan that one. This one looks unopened. 30 bucks. There you Aluminum go. channels. Strip lighting. Oh, maybe to mount like under cabinet lighting too. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. This one, I think we know what it is. Inflatable swimming pool. It's been returned. That may be another one to inspect more. Yep. Oh, that one's still in plastic though. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. Yep, inflatable pool. Yep. A little late in the season for that though. Well, so. it's sunny in other parts. Yeah. Well to be, it says. Box in the box. I don't know what that is. Well to be, here, scan that. Automatic cat feeder. Like, there you go. <gasps> Sweet. Looks brand new. Yes, Sweet. it does. Lots of cat products. Yeah, brand new cat feeder. There you go. At least a $50 item, I'm guessing. Yeah, I can look. A lot of people will get after us for not being very good at guessing, but how am I supposed to know what a cat feeder sells for? $80. $80, there you go. That's what the internet's for. Heavy items. Our truck, when we they put the pallet on it, sank way down. It was so. like, zoom. Another bike rack. It's a hitch rack. Bell. Here's three bikes. Bell, I know that's a pretty established brand, well-known brand. So Bell hitch rack, you wanna look that up? 200 bucks. 200, yeah, so that's awesome. Cool. This looks like a medical chair, like a, looks new in plastic, unused. That would be something that if it was used, definitely probably couldn't sell it. Yes. So. Okay, so just gonna scan, scan that. Whew, $200. $200, wow, what is it called? Bedside commode. Okay. So it's not, because we've had these before, they go over your toilet, but this is the actual toilet. Okay. So. Yeah, that's a $200 uh, item. That's That stuff's um, expensive. Yeah. So, and that's something not a lot of people want to pay full price for either. So. Right. Um, it's awesome to be able to offer a good discount on some of these items. Yeah. So, yeah. It's an umbrella. Another one. At least it's not 14 of them or 15 of them. Last time we got a pallet, we got 15 beach umbrellas. This, this time just one. That looks like a nice one. This one's cute though. Right here. Wheelchair ramp. Oh, okay. Four foot non-skid wheelchair ramp. So we've sold those pretty well in the past. All right, $175. Non-skid four foot wheelchair ramp. Yes, so. There you go. Always good, and we do know, we do know those sell. So that'll be a good one. All right, last one. Last one, What's this is a heavy guy? one. The biggest one, probably. Wow, it is a piece of gym equipment. Right. Which we sell locally really well, actually. We, so we had some weights, some exercise equipment on our last pallet, and it sold really quickly. So mm -hmm. I'm sure this will too. This is like for maybe like your squats or what do you do? You can tell both of us go to the gym a lot, you know, so. <laughs> That's what it is right there. All right, 140. 140, so. It's can, a dip bar station, squat rack stand. 
there you go. So yeah. I'm sure that someone will buy that from us. I'm yeah. not, even though it's like sometimes these big packages, you're like, oh man, how am I going to ship that? You don't, you sell it locally and it'll go quickly. So even if you did have to ship it, it wouldn't cost as much as you think. Right. I mean, it might cost you 50 to 60. So depending on your profit margins, you, that's when you decide if you want to go eBay or Facebook. But for this one, we know it'll sell locally. So we might as well save that on that shipping and do it that way. That's it. What do you guys think? Good palette. Pretty good. That's yeah. A good like meat and potatoes palette. Like lots of just good items nothing super huge not a ton of small stuff really right there in the middle but i'm sure the msrp is very very good on it so yeah. hopefully that goes to show you that there's definitely a lot of opportunity with reselling pallets it's not just um, mm -hmm. about opening these random packages it's definitely a, a something you can turn into a business or even just a side hustle to help make ends meet so that's kind of what For we're sure. passionate about showing people so if you like this video we got tons more check them out on our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.